Three, two, one. Welcome, welcome to this episode of Beer and Booze with B-Rat. I'm your host, B-Rat, and let's just start the show off right. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. And something near and dear to my heart, 22 veterans die day to PTSD suicide. So if you know a veteran or anyone suffering from PTSD, please reach out to that person. Lend them an ear. Take them out to eat. Take them out for a coffee. Take them out for a drink. Acknowledge that individual. Sometimes that can save their life. All right. I've got a beer for you today that um, I actually uh, sampled at the at the, um, <clears throat> the beer festival a couple months ago. Me and Miss B. Red went. And um, I actually, they had a representative from St. James. St. James, Missouri. Uh, the public house brewery. Now, <clears throat> the whole point of me doing a beer review, giving you that, going a little extra mile, telling you the story is if you're going to be a craft brewery, tell how you got started besides the jib jab I'm about ready to tell you because it sounds just like every, everything else. And, and that's no offense, but eventually in that road, you know, it's going to turn in a different direction. All right, 2010, it started in a garage, of course. A lot of them start in a garage with their love, love of beer, and then one thing leads to another. Uh, actually started in Rolla, uh, Missouri. Um, they partnered up with St. James Winery. I think in 2014, and it's just not a short-term collaboration. It is a long-term collaboration. They wanted to put a venue where you could drink beer, wine, collaborate, have fun. Sounds like a nice atmosphere, if you ask me. Um, and plus, um, you know, the the mingling beer and wine together, like aging beer and wine uh, barrels is, is becoming popular, uh, and bourbon barrels and tequila barrels, it gives the beer an extra, you know, layer of flavor, so to say. I mean, it really kind of alters the taste of the beer, and uh, they're delicious, man. It's just almost an endless, endless, um, endless recipe, so to say. Um, but like I said, if you're going to be a craft brewery, please be proud to say, hey, man, me and my friend Bill, you know, we got together. We just kind of started goofing around. The one thing, you know, um, normally, uh, you know, someone went to school or something and, you know, I don't know. That is the gist I can get on Public House. Uh, the representative uh, uh, for Public House, when I talked to him, uh, matter of fact, gave me a sample of a beer that wasn't even out yet. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Well, maybe not out, but they didn't have it out for sampling, anyhow. And um, I went through all their beers. They have solid beers and stuff, and I'm pretty stoked about uh, trying their uh, exclusive IP Indian Pale Ale, 6.8% alcohol volume, smooth, earthy, bright, is what the can says. Let's go ahead and critique the can like I always do. Needs some work, I think. Um, you got a fox, some like camouflage background. I don't know. I don't think it's very, the font's pretty plain. It's a black aluminum can with a vinyl wrap. Um, and I don't see nothing wrong with the vinyl wraps. A lot of craft breweries do that. I suppose it saves maybe time and money. Um, but a lot of craft breweries also are hiring artists to do their artwork for the cans. And I think public house, that might be something you ought to do either that or pay someone to do some type of logo. I mean, this, man, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not real enthused about your marketing. And I only bought this beer only because the representative was really nice. Gave me a lot of information and it was good beer. So I like to share good beer with you guys. Let's get on with the drinking. Let's see how she pours. All right, I can already smell that. Holy shit.
Well, I can tell you this much. It's got a fantastic head, man. These bubbles and stuff are really tight knit bubbles. It's kind of a, like a frothy kind of head on, on it. And uh, for an IPA, I mean, it's got that, um, I don't know, it's got that haze, but I mean, it, it's pretty, it's pretty clean looking. I know you can't tell, but it's pretty clean looking for uh, IPA. Um, a lot clearer than I anticipated. Let's go ahead and see what we got for the smell. I'm getting kind of a, a citrusy, kind of vanilla -y. I I, I know that sounds weird. Um, yeah, maybe some uh, grapefruit, um, yeah, a lemon lime, maybe a little bit of sweetness of some sort in there. Of course, you know, you get a little bit of hop and the malt and stuff with that. Let's go ahead and give her a taste, see what... <coughs> Holy smokes! Mm, got a got a nice piney taste from the hop. Um, very subtle but flavorful. A little bit of aftertaste in your mouth, not bad on the backside. A very nice IPA, I believe. Six point eight percent alcohol by volume. You might be a little careful drinking. Get a few of these underneath you. Uh, you might be doing backflips. All right. I like it. The only thing I didn't like is their can, the way they the way they got this. I think they could use a little work on this. Elusive. I mean, okay, Fox is elusive, but I don't know. That can's just not. Um, th there's uh, some people like that Hoppin' Frog. They really need some help. These guys, I think, need some help. Um, that clown shoes is really out there. I don't know if they need help because they do have an artist doing the artwork for it. He just got a little twisted, uh, twisted way of doing things. All right. Let's say you find yourself at St. James. You're at the tap room or whatever they got there. And, uh, uh, this Marine comes in and he's got a patch. I was like, ah, my name's Casey. I'm out to drink. Well, hold on. Let's stop with that. Um, let's go ahead and give the, and I'm doing a beer, uh, beer advocate untapped. You know, they got a scale like one to five. Um, I'm going to give a smell of three eights. I'm going to give the taste three eight. I'm going to give the color a three eight. Had a nice head. I guess if I rated the head, I don't know if that's on there. I'd give the head a four O. Oh. Um, and then something I've created and and I know there's there's something similar to what I I'm saying but this is something to give you the unfair advantage against professional drinkers inside the bar or at home maybe you're at a family gathering anyhow Casey all right bet I can out drink you so you don't want to buy him a beer you want him to buy you a beer and of course maybe there's a shot involved in there so I'm going to try to do the I'm going to try to do the Take some of the guesswork out for you. I'm going to chug it for you and see see if you have a advantage, unfair advantage against Casey or anybody else out there. We rock. Man, it's nice and smooth. It's got a nice citrus, um, you know, hoppy taste to it. I love IPAs. I love the hoppiness. Um, it's really nice and, and a smooth beer. Uh, Public House, St. James, Missouri. If you're in St. James, go there, have a beer. Tell them B Rad sent you. Great beer. Um, it's well worth a try. Um, since they're in St. Saint, Saint James, Missouri, and uh, I think they have one in Rolla, too, I, I believe. They had two, two places. And uh, go ahead and give them a try, man. Good beer. All right. This is the part where I like to pay tribute to the men and women that sacrifice all for this great country. I love America, and I hope you love America, too. Get out of here. All right. And, of course, chesty puller, wherever you are. The Metallica Blackhead. We don't drink this whiskey properly. 
out of a McLaren glass or nothing. I need to do the review on this. Goes very nicely with that IPA. All right. This is part where I like to say thank you. Of course, let's start off so I don't have to type in. Stony Vineyards, thank you, brother. Thank you for hitting the like button. Like I said, you guys may comment. I will mention you every time. Louisiana Beer Review. All right, man. You are pretty pretty spot on with some of this stuff. Uh, I enjoyed, enjoyed your videos. My Canadian viewer, uh, Lupe Gomez, Scott Losky, Brad Lance, of course, always. And always Scott Losky because he's been watching my videos since day one. Um, Lynn Johnson, uh, a woman Marine sister of mine. Um, just my whole family, Mrs. B-Rad, my kids, my grandkids, everyone out there, of course, don't forget, so fucking angry at this channel. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, share the shit out of this. Thank you to my 45 subscribers now. I appreciate everything. I appreciate you watching. And simplify, motherfucker.